Hello, hello, this is Joe from Nerd in Korea. We are doing our MTG cycle review and looking at site in, in, or sorry, set independent confluences. So there's only three of these actually, but it looks like they're starting to make a cycle, like outside of a set, which is a very unusual thing, but yeah. So we've got three colors. One of them is colorless, so maybe two colors is more accurate, but okay. Just hit like and subscribe. It doesn't make such a big difference. I feel like I'm always dragging behind on those, but anyway. But what are we talking about? Usually Charms and Confluence comes in cycles in particular sets. These Confluence are outside of a particular set, so all from different sets basically, right? There's one from Doctor Who, there's um... I can't remember now. I shouldn't even try. I think Word of the Spark has one, but anyway. There are only three of them at the moment, right? So there are three of these. They also feature some kind of weird, well, one of them in particular, I find a very odd mechanic. There are different color identities, so maybe there's a full cycle of these yet. So I think they're going to end up completing this kind of like outside the, uh, outside of the set cycle because there's colors black green already. So yeah, they need three more to complete the cycle. I think they'll probably do it. Green! Okay, so Oz, uh, Cosmium Confluence, four and a green, so five CMC, not too bad. Choose three, you may choose the same mode more than once, as usual. So these allow you to choose multiple modes, and you can choose the same mode more than once. That's really the upshot of these confluences. I look at them as being quite a big bump up in power from most of the modal spells. Anyway, search your library for a cave card, put it onto the battlefield, tap to then shuffle. There are some really good caves. Um, yeah, and you can have them just like thrown, excuse me, thrown straight into the battlefield tapped. That's a, that's a five mana for three ramp. That's a very good deal. You can put three plus one plus one counters on a cave you control. It becomes a zero zero elemental creature with haste. It's still a land. If you've got a deck that is like all about land creatures, that can be very good, right? So what you do is you use the first mode, you get into the battlefield tapped, and then you start throwing plus one plus one counters on it. So yeah. Um Yeah, you could put I believe you could put like six plus one plus one counters on one that you just brought into the battlefield, so it, or even if there's one already in the battlefield, but 9 plus 1 plus 1 counters, and then you have just a monster of a land creature. Finally, destroy target enchantment. So you could destroy 3 enchantments for 5 mana. That's a good deal right there. I would probably, again, mix and match a bit. I'd probably want 1 cave at least, and then maybe destroy 2 enchantments or something like that. You can get a lot out of it. Anyway, 9 cents. Black. Okay, this is the Doctor Who one, Kumisei Confluence, so it's XX Black. So this is different than normal ones, usually you choose three, here you choose X. So again, for every two you pay, you choose another one. So cast for three, choose one, cast for five, choose two, cast for seven, choose three, and so on and so on. So yeah, you could potentially do this a really ridiculous number of times if you make enough mana. Choose X, you may choose the same mode more than once. Each player sacrifices a non-artifact creature. Not bad. Create a 3-3 black Darlic artifact creature token with menace. In some decks that might be good. Each opponent discards a card. You can just have them like discard their entire hand. That is huge. That is like such a like kick. Um, especially like sacrificing cre non-artifact creature. Remember, that gets around like indestructible and things like that. Sacrifice doesn't care about indestructible. So basically, and also you're casting it on the player, not on the creature. So things like hexproof, doesn't matter. So yeah, it gets around all kinds of things there. 18 cents. Colorless. Eldrazi Confluence. Okay, so a two white white for this instant. Um, Again, you can choose three, same mode more than once, as usual. Target creature gets plus three, minus three until end of turn. 
obviously use this to increase damage after combat you know, or after blockers are assigned you can increase damage or you can use it for removal nice flexibility there exile target non-land permanent then return it to uh, the battlefield tapped under its owner's control just blank a whole bunch of stuff you can blank up to three things that is very very useful in many decks and finally, uh, create a 1-1 one, one color Eldrazi creature token with sacrifice this add a white, or sorry, a colorless. Um, so especially effects that allow you to like get more mana from like tapping, uh, tapping creatures. This will be extra useful there. If you're making more, you can make more mana out of this than it costs you to make it, um, or to make the, uh, to make the, uh, creatures. So yeah, that could be very good. Again, in the right deck, I think this is very impressive. Anyway, 198. A list. Okay. Cosmium Confluence is only 9 cents. Doomsday Confluence is 18 cents. I cannot find it for 18 cents. I will say that. I'm, I've am i been looking for it, and um, I think like around 2 bucks seems normal. Oh, sorry, not 2 bucks. A buck 60. Eldrazi Confluence 198. One last thing I want to say about Eldrazi Confluence it doesn't really have much to do with Eldrazi. The token creatures you sacrifice are Eldrazi, but it doesn't really care about Eldrazi per se. You can put that in any deck, really. Alright, so take it easy.